Well, my, my, my way of looking at Bitcoin is like this. It, it's, it's a primitive technology. It's like the first steam engine. The first steam engine was hopelessly inefficient, but it could do one thing really well, which is pump water out of mines. And that one thing happened to be needed. Um, you know, uh, Bitcoin is extremely inefficient, but it does one thing extremely well, which is, which is anonymous value transfer, which actually I'm not sure if that's needed or not. In fact, I have a lot of reasons for thinking it isn't. Um, but nevertheless, you know, you had this steam engine that could pump water out of mines, and a generation later you had steam engines that could go at 100 miles an hour on tracks from, from, from London to, well, a couple of generations later, from London to, to Edinburgh. So, and what was in those locomotives was a steam engine, but it wasn't the same kind of steam engine as pumped water out of mines. I, I, I'm not sure if people sort of take on board. You know, Bitcoin is, is in a family tree of, of electronic money. It's the, a, a tree that's built on, you know, digicash and hash cash and all sorts of things. And there's no reason to think that somehow it's the peak of evolution and it's going to stop. Um, you know, I, I'm sure the cryptocurrencies of the future will be different. So is it possible that some communities will use something like Bitcoin? I think that's probably true. In fact, I think there's a great deal of evidence that the business community in particular rather likes things like Ethereum because of the smart contract angles. Um, but is it likely that Bitcoin, as it is now, becomes the one world currency, the new gold standard? That, that seems implausible to me. I mean, the idea that no one's going to invent something better, that's, uh, that, that, that's implausible.